So this is part two, um, continuation with the um, Microsoft uh, Visual Code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install, well I'll show you how to install Visual Studio Code already, but what I'd like for you to do is to, um, do, we're going to create an index page. Now in the previous videos I show you how to create an index page and the table through a notepad, right? You can edit any, any um, HTML code through a notepad with it. So um, that's how you do it. But starting from, I want to fast track us a little bit more to a little bit more advanced. I want us to use what's called an IDE. And IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which is a text editor that edits code. Now, the nice thing about IDE, like visual code like this, is that it highlights all the reserve words for us. It just helps us a little bit. It's a better tool to use with it. Whereas if, we're, if I had you do a notepad, everything would be all black and white. So you will love, it's like going from um, a Tesla or uh, from, a, from a Yugo, uh, a really, really you know, cheap car to something that's a luxury sedan with it. So consider this, this IDE kind of like, it helps you a little bit better to code with IntelliSense and all the stuff I'll talk to you about with it. So, <clears throat> so I want to pick up where we left off is that make sure you have your directory opening to your file directory that you, you created, which looks like this. Once you have this, here's what I'd like for you to do. Um, I'd like for you to click on the cube, a three cube and a little fragment cube, which is which are what's called extension, all right, extensions that you can actually download. Uh, it's like plugins that you can do. So click on that. And I'd like for you to uh, find the search over here. If you type in the word live server, uh, it's, it's this one. It's called Retwick Day, okay? Uh, make sure you click on that, okay? So um, I already have it installed already here, but if you can click on the install button, it will install it. So make sure you install that for me, please, okay? Before we move forward. So the live server by, by Retwick Day uh, with as well. Click back on your uh, double uh, pieces of paper. It takes you back to this for um, with as well. So I like for you to. I'm going to close this out so you don't look so confused with what I'm about to do with it. So um, um, bear with me for a second. So I want right mouse click. I want us to create an index page for me in here. So right mouse click anywhere in the black area and the white space over here. Click on file. <clears throat> And I just go ahead and type index.html for me. Hit enter. Okay, and it looks like this. So this is just a plain wafer index.html that I would like for uh, for us to actually start with it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna let me let me pause the the, the the video recording for a second, and I want uh, I'm gonna put some code on here, and I'm gonna start talking about the code. Okay, so I'm gonna pause for a second, save us some time. So let me. Uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about is uh, I put some code on here, and let me magnify. And you're welcome to do this as well on your keyboard. If you want to hit Control and the plus sign, that would just actually make it a little bit more uh, bigger. Hang on. So make sure you click, you place your cursor in the document, and click on it and see where it's blinking on line 13. And if you hit a plus it just magnifies it you hold down your control and your minus that actually zooms out zoom in so this kind of allows you to see your code a little better with it as well let me just place this in here so we can actually see this and with us so a lot of this stuff that you have um, I talked to you in your code the only thing that's different here is this line one right here and the the line that says doc type HTML, all you're doing is you're just defining this is a document that's HTML. It's going to be tags and put in the meta tags with it. So it just helps it. But is it require? No. What's require the bare skeleton of the code is from HTML, HTML with it. So we like to use the doc type HTML later on. It just helps a lot of search engines to actually find a web page with it as well later on. I'll get more in detail about the breakdown of the doc type here with it. So bear with me some of the stuff I'm, I'm talking to you about with it. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. Of course, you're familiar with the HTML starting and closing with it and the head tags, 
two parts and the body second part this is what's up here in your browser this is what's up here inside of your uh, title tag with it so welcome to my home page or I like for you to change this welcome to your name uh, with two Dan's or your full name uh, home page why don't you do that for me put your name in here instead of my name okay so please put your full name in here first name last name uh, if you can please put it in here as well so this appears in uh, the little tab uh, at the top uh, when you have with us well so it just helps you uh, helps me identify who you are when I grade in your uh, body I want to talk to you about we're putting in a table in here as well with it so uh, let me pause the video and I want to put some code up here and then I'm going to talk about the code in a second so before I, I move on uh, and do the rest of the content of the body in here with it, you notice here that the page has a, a little white circle in here. It's a white dot. And the white dot basically tells you this, this page has been modified. It's been, it's been uh, altered some way, somehow, the code in it. You need to save it. That's what this means. So if you, do, if you please could do Control S or file save or however you want to do save this but that once you save it you need the, the white circular uh, image goes away uh, we remember that live server I asked you to to install in that um, in, in that in that add-on in the extension if you can right mouse click in it and select open with live server okay that's another way you can do this open with live server so this opens up the browser that kind of gives you, this is what it looks like if you look at the 127.0.0.1 that just tells you this is what? this is a loopback with it and if you notice this tab right here that you have right here that you, that you see up here welcome to Dan Dow okay so this is what this kind of shows you in my upper of my browser with us well welcome to Dan Dow's home page with it so there are limited spaces up here that you can do with it what I would do is let's say you want to get rid of these three dot dot these three colons with it um, let me let me close that out minimize this let me take out these title with it because a lot of times it does I don't need those titles with it it just takes up a little bit more space uh, or like that okay so if I want to again the moment I modify it the white um, uh, circular comes on control s saves it I want to look at this page in the live live server right mouse click on the page live server and you can see those three dots uh, and, and that has been modified with it so let's go into this page right here for me all right and we're going to modify this page as of right now with it all right so um, let's talk about the body uh, of, 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 of the content of the, the presentation language with it so hold on a second so if you want to, uh, if you're following along, the best thing is to have YouTube and there's a pause button, and pause the screen on on it, and be nice if you have two large screen and and I, I don't know if you have that luxury or not with it, but if you can see both of the screens and type your code versus my code, now you have to bear with me with what we're doing in here because um, you know some of these. Are coding with it, and as you as you code through this, you have to you know test back and forth with it. Um, I'm in my body. This is what's the new parts is this from here to here with it. But if you notice how I indented in uh, the beginning of your uh, your table uh, tag with it, and this is your closing of your tag with it, the attributes are here. So words like with, border, alignment cell padding, cell spacing, I want to talk a little bit more about these attributes. Things that you put between the quotes are what's going to cause properties or values. So for example, I want a table that is 75 percent of the page. All right. I want to have a border of one. I want everything in this table right now to be center for, for instance. So with a cell padding of one and cell spacing of one. So these are one pixel uh, is the unit we're talking about, right? So uh, one of the things I'll, we're get into more of these with it, but for now, please take my word for it. The tag is the table tag. Here's the beginning of the table tag. You notice I click on it, it shows me where the closing of that table tag is at the bottom. Uh, inside it again, attributes, values, or properties. 
I nest it inside of that, what's called a tea body, which is a table for the body of the tag with it. Inside of that, my first row that I'm going to show you is that we need to have a one row that has a table, uh, row, col column span of three. Okay, bear with me. This three stands for three columns. You're going to see this in a second. I want the content of that, which says, Welcome to Dan Dow's home page. I want that in font H1, which is the largest font, and I like for it to be center. So make sure you have the closing of the H1 and the closing of the center tag, right? Now, so let, let's let's see what this looks like so far, thus far with it. All right. So again, I'm going to save it. Control S. I'm going to right mouse click on it. Live server. So you can see this is what it looks like. This is what I have done. So in this HTML page that I have, this whole HTML page, I have a table, and inside this table, I have the first one is remember that column span. So three columns, so column span, and I'm going to cover meaning I merge the three columns into one. That's what column span does with it. Inside of that, I start my first table uh, row uh, in here with it. So it's actually the second table row, right? The first table row is this one. And underneath that, date, description, and assignments. I should, that should be plural, right? So let me let me uh, close out of that. Uh, minimize this in a second. Let me go back in. Assignments should be S. Description needs an S in here as well. And I have some dates in here it has an S in there as well. So we're going to actually change this. So pause this, and I'm just going to. I gave it some arbitrary data percentage in here. All these three values need to be add up to be a, a 100%, of course. So I want everything inside of that to be center with it as well. So if you can see how I center that uh, that content with it and the dates, so that actually the center can't doesn't work. So if you remember, it was centered to the uh, the other side of this. So I can't do this right here. I really need to put the center. Uh, in here, this will allow me to actually put the center. Um, the moment I put that, I need to move that over here to make it look like this. So uh, I'm, I'm, I center that column, the table header, the dates with it as well. Control S saves it, and I want to see this in live server again. Uh, and you can see I move the center to the date to a center. I want to do that for a description, and I want to change that to. Uh, assignments to center and also I want to change this font over here this is an h1 font and I want to make this a little smaller maybe maybe an h3 h2 okay so that's just a little less font to actually to do so why don't I do that um, I want to do center I'm going to move this description right here Put this in middle between that. Then I'll do this thing, same thing. Move assignments. So it looks like this. Anyway, now if I want to make this a date a little bigger, I'm going to do H3. I'll close that H3 again. Uh, what I should have done is to have it looks like this. I'm going to do H3. HTML is not case sensitive. Only JavaScript is, right? Okay, so it looks like this. So I, I gave it date H3 size font, H1 is the largest, H6 is the smallest, all right? So paragraph is a different type of font. But for now, for now, if you look at this code, uh, I just want to explain what this looks like. So control S, the white circle goes away, live server, and we look at this live server, voila. Okay, so you can see it gives a H3 a little bit more spacing uh, in above and below. Guess what? I have another row here. If you look at this third row over here, you see how spacing it is with it? You see how it actually has a blank in there? Well, let's look. The, this is the third row from here to here. TR, third row. TD, again, table data, nested inside the table row. So the ampersand NPSP, semicolon, 
So that's a space. It's a space, invisible space holder. So it's a non-blank space. That's what that stands for. All right. So uh, it's just an ASCII value you have to use with it. So each one later, it's a placeholder. Right. So if you could for me, if you could for me, just highlight table row to table row, copy it. We're going to do several, several more rows. So I want you to hit enter. Make sure things are aligned properly with it, of course, right? And if you can, if you want to copy to save some space, do that. Make sure it's still aligned properly. Just move everything to the right, to the left with it. Make sure it's aligned properly with it. And I'd like for you to do like I don't know. Let's do ten of these things, okay? So you're welcome to do more if you want to. That's fine. Um, but I, I'm just gonna put a few of few of them in here. It looks like this, okay? So later on, we can always okay. So Control S, right mouse click Live Server, and you can see voila, add to adding some more spaces in here as well. So this is what I would like for you to do. Make sure. Make sure this is, you know, there isn't any code, anything that looks weird or well with us. Well, uh, you're going to fill in these these content here, or these placeholder in here, and you're going to link this page to your assignments in here as well. All right. So I'm going to stop. This is the end of part two. This is getting too long. I'm sorry. End of part two.